Leo, Hendo here with Average Dude Slow Pitch. Today, we're excited to bring you the first 241 piece here for Monster, the Kinetic R's that we're swinging, 27 half ounce end load. We're gonna go ahead, throw about 75-ish swings on it, then get that live velo. Then we'll go ahead, get final compression test, get you our final thoughts. You're gonna notice here in a second, we're, we're doing this intro over here at a different field than you're actually gonna see the swings on. We ran into some issues with some of the footage as far as our intro and stuff goes like that. So that's why you're gonna see that out there at a different field. But again, I assure you, we had about 50, 55 degree weather out there. All classic M's, pro M's, got that initial compression test. And then like I said, we'll get you that final compression test once we're done. So let's go ahead, throw some swings on it and see where it's at. All right, real quick before we put swings on it, let's go and test the brand new Monsta Kinetic. This is the one piece model. I know a lot of guys have been waiting on this, asking us about it. There was a little delay with Monsta on this one, but I'm sure they waited till they got it just right to send it out. So let's see where we're at, slightly too far, there we go. And starting compression for us is gonna be pretty much dead on 275. So that's pretty much what we've seen with most of these UCCA Monsters. Let's get it out there, see what it's all about. We are swinging an end loaded model and we'll come back and get you our final thoughts. So it's definitely got a good pop out of the wrap for 275. I mean, I think the stiff handle helps. But we got that one out, left left field, left center, whatever, easily. I, I feel like I missed it, but it could just be the feedback right now. Damn. Yeah, when you catch sweet spot, you know. Uh, for those that have one, one piece, they're, they'll give you the feedback. You miss high, low on your hands, it'll hurt a little bit. Well, on this one so far, when you catch that sweet spot, you feel nothing. That ball actually jumps off. That was a line drive right off our, I think that's 340, 350. So it's good to see it jump like that 275. If we know anything about monsters, about 100, 150 swings in, it'll truly open up. Yeah. Just jumping off the barrel though, off that sweet spot. Not super forgiving yet, but. A lot of the monsters you gotta really break in, so we'll get there. All right, I lied about what I said earlier. The previous spots weren't the sweet spot. That was the sweet spot. It's actually a little bit lower. You can see the ball mark here, kind of on the end of the kinetic. But that one, again, you do get the feel. Don't have to worry about it off your hands. Definitely different sound change. And you could just tell it came off way, way better, so. Gas. Yeah, line drive over left center. That fence right there is marked at three, easier to 380, 390, so. For a bat with less than 20 swings, you can't really ask for much more performance was. Especially. Yeah, that was a miss towards the end for sure. Somewhere up here, a little higher. And we still were able to one hop left center at 350, 360. So again, forgiving for one piece. I know we've said that enough already, but this is gonna be a fan favorite for stiff handle or one piece fans. Short hop to 400 dead center. Again, we're at about maybe 30 swings on it. We'll let everyone else take some hacks here and then we'll get it back out for velo, see where we're at. But you can't ask for much more out of a bat straight out of the wrapper. Pretty darn forgiving already. Gives you good feedback, nice and stiff handle. This is one of my favorite one pieces so far that we've swung here in that 240 line, but we'll keep going and see how it performs with everything else. Pretty 
good feedback on this bat though, man, for not having that many swings. It's fresh out the wrapper, right? Yep. one but still feels pretty good do they usually have a bunch of one pieces that's their first ever first piece. ever yeah feels good for one piece man. i like it Ninety-one miles per hour. You always have faster exit below on mine drives. Eighty-eight miles per hour. Not most probably. Ninety-two miles per hour. I'll only use ten to fifteen total between all four of them. Eighty-nine miles per hour. So you just turn this little knob, and you'll see this number goes up, and it changes. Ninety-two miles per hour. 96 miles per hour. 105 miles per hour. 98 miles per hour. 108 miles per hour. 109 miles per hour. All right, now that we're swings complete here with the Monster Kinetic, let's go ahead and see where this one tests. I'm interested to see this one because this bat felt great and almost automatic, like you couldn't miss. That's too far. Let it sit at zero. Yep, and sure enough, there's Monster for you. Still sitting 275. So this bat, incredibly hot out of the wrapper. Feels great now. Huge sweet spot. Feels like you can't miss. We'll talk about it more in the final thoughts, but still sitting 275. So that's absolutely what we love to see. All right, we're field swing, velo test, compression test complete here with the Monster Kinetic. And again, I've talked about it on previous videos. I'm definitely a stiff handle fan. With this one piece, you get at the absolute stiffness out of there as well. And the ball 100% immediately was jumping straight off this barrel. So in the past with some of the USSA monsters, we found that, hey, it's got a great sweet spot uh, initially, just real small. And then it takes 50, 75, even 100 swings to kind of start to really open that up. For this one, it felt almost for, immediately forgiving from the start. We saw real high exit velocities there with the compression test, or sorry, with the velo test as well. And it's still holding compression fine right around that 100 swing mark, which has never really been an issue with us with any of the monsters. We've yet to find a monster that's really given us any compression issues. But with this one, again, it's going to be incredibly forgiving straight out of the wrapper. Can have 100% be game. You don't necessarily need to BP it. I still would because with the monsters, they all do get hotter with more and more swings. So just something to keep in mind. But this one's going to be one that I'm going to throw in the bag. I am going to continue to throw swings on it, see how it opens up as we continue to go with it. But definitely real excited on this one. If you want to pick one of these up, again, we don't have a monster code for you. But if you reach out to us, we can easily put you in touch with somebody. Or easy answer, go to monsterathletics.com. You can still order some of these. I think they're actually only about 180 bucks. And then obviously if you want to add Monsters one-time bat replacement, that's a little bit more on there as well. But you don't necessarily need to add them. Again, 100 swings in, I see no signs. I mean, we're not even webbing yet. We've got a little bit down where the paint wrap was at that you can see maybe a, like a small paint seam starting, but really no factor there either. And again, we went pretty much zero to 100 with this thing immediately out of the wrapper. So just something to keep in mind. But all in all, if there's any other gear you want to pick up, just head down in the description of the video. We've got the link tree for you. You're going to see tons of different links, discount codes down there. If you want help or advice, just go over to AverageUSlowPitch.com. Go to the Contact Us page. Reach out to us. We're glad to talk shop. Hope you place orders if that's what you want to do as well. Most of the sites, we can get you even lower prices than you can see there and much faster shipping if that's something that you need. Especially with Headbanger Sports, we can get you real discounted on that overnight shipping. So if you're somebody that's in a rush to pick up a bat, wherever it might be, just let us know. We'll get you squared away. With that being said, we hope you enjoyed the video. Have a great day.